Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February the 14th. On this day, lovers express their affection with greetings and gifts. The day is believed to take its name from a priest who was martyred in ancient Rome. Valentine comes from valens, which means worthy. The feast of Saint Valentine was established by Pope Galatius I in 496. At this time, nothing was known about the life of Saint Valentine. An image of Saint Valentine first appeared in the Nuremberg Chronicle in 1493. This work says that Saint Valentine was a Roman priest who was martyred by Claudius II around the year 270. Claudius had him killed because Valentine was marrying Christian couples at a time when Christians were persecuted in Rome. Alban Butler, an English antiquarian of the 18th century, suggested that Valentine's Day was created by the Christian Church to supersede the pagan holiday of Lupercalia. Lupercalia was a pre-Roman pagan festival celebrated between February the 13th and 15th. It was a festival aimed at driving out the evil spirits of winter and to expiate and purify new life in spring. However, many of the ideas about modern Valentine's Day were invented during the 14th century. Writers like Geoffrey Chaucer first associated the day with romantic love. In his work The Parliament of Fowls, Chaucer describes a fantasy parliament in which the birds choose their mates. The work was started in May 1382 and was ready for St. Valentine's Day 1383. This romantic idea of choosing a mate became the theme of St. Valentine's Day as we know it today. Originally, Valentine's messages of love were composed and written by the suitor, normally a man. As most young men couldn't string together a worthy rhyme, The Young Man's Valentine Writer was published in 1797. This book gave scores of sentimental verses that the young lover could use to impress his chosen mate. Commercial Valentine's Day cards have been sent since the 19th century. The 
These were originally called mechanical valentines, as they were printed by machine. Their great advantage was that they allowed the sender to remain anonymous. Anonymity is very important when sending a Valentine's Day card. Sometimes you have feelings for someone, but you can't be sure that they feel the same way about you. You're too shy to come right out and ask them. You fear rejection and ridicule. Valentine's Day was invented especially for people like you. It gives you a once a year opportunity to find out whether the love of your life has feelings for you without you having to risk getting hurt. In 1822, one writer observed that the number of letters sent on Valentine's Day makes several additional sorters necessary at the post office in London. Today, over a billion Valentine's Day cards are sent each year, worldwide. Men send twice as many as women. The Beatles sang that money can't buy me love, but many men choose to ignore such inconvenient truths on Valentine's Day. Aided by the commercial interests of the flower industry, the chocolate industry, and even the diamond industry, today's Valentine's Day card is likely to come attached to an enormous box of overpriced chocolates or an impossibly large bunch of soon-to-be-dead flowers. Roses are particularly popular as they are seen to represent love, beauty and an enormous bank balance. I dedicate this video to the only Valentine for me, my beautiful Rothio. Glossary. There's a quiz, a hangman game and a crossword puzzle to help you learn and remember the following vocabulary from this video. Affection. Aimed. Anonymous. Antiquarian. Celebrate. Enormous. Expiate. Express. Gift. Greeting. Inconvenient. Lover. Martyred. Mate. Overpriced, Parliament, Persecuted, Priest, Purify, Rejection, Ridicule, Risk, Sentimental, Shy, Spirit, String Together, Suitor, Supersede, Theme, Verse, 
worthy.